Well, I think that Bermuda has a history of innovation. Innovation has been in our DNA, especially when it deals with insurance innovation. A lot of the um, innovations in insurance have happened here in Bermuda, and we want to be a part of the future innovations which are going to take place. And that is why this government has focused so much on making sure that we can be, that we have a uh, forward-looking regulatory environment that can adjust for what is coming in the world of whether it be blockchain technologies or things that will come from InsureTech. Last November, we launched um, our blockchain task force. Um, it was divided into two parts, the business uh, development group and the legal and regulatory working group. And the legal and wor regulatory working group have worked through a number of items where Bermuda can now say that we're the first country in the world that has legislation in place that governs the issuance of digital assets. Uh, that was our initial coin offering act, which amended our Companies Act and our Limited Liability Companies Act to put in place um, a regime for the issuance of digital assets. It is broad enough to cover not only utility tokens and traditional digital assets, but also digital assets which may regard as securities in other jurisdictions. In addition to that, the Bermuda Monetary Authority has gone through and uh, we, in tandem with them, we have uh, passed in the House of Assembly and will be going to the Senate next week, the Digital Asset Business Act. The Digital Asset Business Act will provide a licensing regime for companies that are engaged in the digital asset sphere. So whether that's exchange providers, wallet providers, customer providers, or people who do the issuance of digital assets um, a as a business. So if you're a third party provider saying that these are the things you want to do, if that's the business that you're engaged in, this licensing regime will be set up for that. Additionally, the Bermuda Monetary Authority um, has uh, proposed amendments to the Insurance Act to create the regulatory sandbox. Uh, that regulatory sandbox, the Cabinet has approved those changes and they'll be coming to Parliament very shortly and we pass into law before the end of July. The BMA will be setting up their uh, regulatory sandbox for InsureTech to start um, after we pass the Digital Asset Business Act and put in place a second licensing regime for that, then the regulatory sandbox will be expanded to include a broader scale of fintech companies. But what the uh, sandbox will do, it will allow people to test their products and services in a uh, constrained environment uh, so the regulator can get comfortable and to allow that type of innovation to take place so that when that is done, there can be a full license that can be issued and people can go ahead and scale their products and services directly from their home base right here in Bermuda. I think the first week into my premiership, there was an innovation uh, campus here at the Ariel Sands, and there was this uh, young man, um, I cannot remember the exact company, uh, country, I want to say I think he was from Hungary, and he was showing me code, and as I have a background in um, IT, I was able to share it. And the thing that I told him, I said, if you want to sit on this beach and write code for the rest of your life, you're welcome to do so. What we want to do is to recognize that for technologists and for those persons who are looking to innovate in this space, Bermuda is open for business. We have an environment here that is second to none. We have service providers, we have an excellent climate, and we have, uh, <laughs> I would say, very wonderful people that are looking forward to welcoming you here. We are going to build an industry and we're going to make sure that Bermuda is a part of building the future. And for those persons who are interested, I encourage them to join, uh, uh, get in touch with us, get in touch with the Business Development Agency, uh, take a look at what we have on fintech.bm, and then uh, contact us so we can get in touch with you and you can be a part of what it is that we are building here in Bermuda.